Hello, Aylesbury. I think you all know now that this is the place that's the birthplace of the Paralympic Games. This is also the birthplace of the Iwas Junior World Games. You are history in this building. The flag behind you, the SMG flag, 19, from 1958. And history tells us that they added a star every time a, a country came here. 25 stars on that flag. They got to the point where too many stars to fill the flag. The flag here from the 60s, Stoke Manville Games Federation. Uh, the flag that flew over here for all of the games that were held here. This is also the, gym or the, the gymnasium where I first saw Sir Philip Craven, president of the International Paralympic Committee, play basketball. And you can imagine, those of you who met him, he was a very aggressive, one word for it, basketball player in here. But the point being that those of you that are in this gym, you athletes that are in this gym now, have the opportunity through your, after your athletic career to move on to become volunteers as the rest of us are, to move on to become president of IWAS, to be president of IPC. A goal to strive for, and I'd like you to keep that goal in mind. But let me say, on behalf of the International Wheelchair and Amputee Sports Federation member nations uh, and its executive board, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 10th uh, IWAS World Junior Games. As a federation with over 60 years of tradition in offering sport opportunities to athletes with disability, and as the founder of the Paralympic movement, we are happy to bring the Games back here where it all began at Stoke Manville to celebrate our 10th anniversary focusing on young rising athletes. In 2004, an IWAS team of headquarters staff and volunteers under the leadership of Maura Strange, who you will see in a few moments as our CEO at the time, organized the first uh, IWAS Junior World Games here. Ten years later, we returned to the nest, to the home base, to again bring the games. This, these games, as you heard, will bring together over 320 athletes with a total delegation of 480 people, 31 nations from around the world, and all of you athletes I know are itching to display your talents. The local or organizing committee and the IOIs HQ are to be congratulated for taking on this major task to organize such an important international event. We hope the significance of the Games returning to such a prominent place in history of the Paralympic movement will encourage and inspire all of those that have made the Games possible over these years. There are many individuals to thank, but let me identify a couple that come to mind. The Beta Bus Barnett Community Transport, Bucks County Council Sport and Social Club, the Booker Park School, and the Stoke Manville Stadium. And especially, I'd like to thank all of the volunteers, both here and with the teams, because those individuals represent the lifeblood of what keeps this movement on its way. Now to the athletes, the important reason that we are here. Those of you that, heard, that were at these games before will understand what's coming next. For all of those who compete here over the next four days, we wish you best of luck in your competition and charge you with accomplishing at least three things while you're here. First, you should focus on your competition to do your personal best. And whether you do your personal best or not, you should learn at least one new thing that helps you for the next competition. Number two, you should accomplish one act of sportsmanship with, uh, for a fellow competitor. And three, you should make at least one new friend from another team, because that's the person that you'll be competing against for the next years of your, of your career. We look forward to seeing from all of you the IWAS values of sportsmanship, unity, friendship, and respect that will come to life this week. We certainly hope that these games will promote communication through sport between nations on the pathway to mutual understanding and peace. Good luck.